Problems four, five, and six, it says, tell how many solutions exist given the discriminant value. So I gave you the discriminant value and I'm saying, hey, how many solutions exist here? Now remember, the discriminant value is based off the quadratic formula, opposite of B plus or minus square root, B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Well, we end up with something like, oh, negative two plus or minus the square root, and we get an answer here. And then all over, let's say all over two. Well, if this number in here is a negative number, what happens? You can't do it, can you? So if you have a negative inside that square root, there's going to be zero solutions because you can't do it. There's no solutions. It doesn't work. <clears throat> Excuse me. What if it's a positive number? Well, if it's a positive number, we're going to be adding, let's say it was a square root of four. We'd be adding two and then we would do negative two minus two. We'd get two solutions if that number is positive which is what we're used to. Hopefully that happens. And then the final thing is if this number is a zero, if it's neither positive nor negative, it is zero. Well, you add this zero, subtract zero, you get the same answer. So if you zero, you get the same answer, which means there's only one solution because the two answers are the same. So if our discriminant value is zero, like right here, the answer is there's one answer. Okay. There's one solution. If the discriminant value is negative, that means there's, oh, well, it's negative. We couldn't do it. There's no solutions. And then finally, if the discriminant value is a positive one, there's what? Two solutions. Okay. We think of the graph. That means it comes through and hits in two spots. This guy, here's the graph. Ooh, never touches. And then this guy comes down and hits in one spot. That's why there's one solution. Because remember, the solutions are simply where it crosses the x-axis.